What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of American Dad Apocalypse Soon. All right, so yeah, all right. So we're gonna talk about five star dwellers, guys. Five star Rogers, whatever you want to call them. We're gonna talk about the easiest way you can get five stars. Now, if you guys play like Hustle Castle, you play Zero City, um, those type of games. It's like I said, if you guys don't know, those games are made by the same developer. They have same concept but different skins. All right, so I made videos on those games to do the exact same thing. I'm about to show you guys right now. Well, I'm not, probably not going to show you, but I can tell you. All right. So one unique thing about this game compared to those two games, and I'm always going to do a reference on those games because those games have been out at least a year. Other ones have been out like two years. All right. Um, one unique thing about this game is that in all those compared to those games, you have a male and a female. In this game, the Roger is both male and female which makes it a ton easier for you guys to get your five stars as fast as possible, all right? It won't take long in this game. Can't really show you guys much with that one because right now my cloning room is going to level two and I don't have any um, golden turds to speed it up. Um, I could move some Rogers in there and do what I gotta do. Matter of fact, let's move some Rogers in there and see if that does take a little bit of effect. All right, so we're gonna do that just real quick because I only have 284 golden turds so that would knock out 12 hours there with those four so 11 hours nope still 438 golden turds guys it doesn't speed anything up at all now most of the time while this is doing this i'll be probably working or something like that or doing some stuff on the side it doesn't matter what but it doesn't really matter i don't i don't, I don't really need this right now however i do want to get it all right now i did get my first two five stars now People are going to be saying, oh, my God, you got to hurry up and put the four stars together. You can. That's a faster way of doing it, guys. Now, with this kind of type of game, they are a games. They're games of chance. All right. It's game of luck. Random numer uh, RNG, random numeric generator or random numeral, whatever you want to call it. RNG. All right. So you have to pray to the RNG gods and hope that you're going to get some five stars. All right. Now, you will get them faster if you don't have any five stars at all. Of course, you can buy them. They're going to go ahead and give you these little offers that come up every now and then. Like this one I have for $3 right now. Get Summoner's Majestic Gear. You could jump on that if you like, but it's not going to last you very long, guys. Like this is a, it's pretty decent for $3. I mean, I would probably get it, but it's not having that one component. The weapon has, you know, once in a while restores 2,179 of your uh, allies' health. I need to resurrect. I don't want that one. I already know what I'm going with for the plan. All right, so... You can get a five star from a three star and a four star. You can. It's possible. It's a lower chance of getting it, you know. But if you don't have anything at all, guys, you got to keep sending those Rogers in there every 24 hours. And like I said, this game is easier because your Rogers are both sexes and it makes it so much easier. All you have to do is wait for that 24 hour cooldown and you're good to go. All right. So right now, I put my five stars as my fighter position right here. Okay. That's what I did them because they're going to be in the front lines and that's what they got going on right now. So my max is 30 right now, and then eventually I will get my fighter training room up. But right now I'm enjoying the Mimosa, um, the Mimosa game right now. You know, um, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and queue up right now because why not? <laughs> Can't really show you guys anything else, so we're just gonna do some morning Mimosa while we talk about this good old good good. All right, so yeah. But your best bet, if you have some dwellers that have the capability of making five stars and you're noticing that they're making five stars consistently you want to make sure those guys are the ones that are on the front line making those babies or cloning oh man this morning almost is gonna suck oh everybody's high level in this one that really never happens but yeah it's all about consistency guys it's gonna take you a couple days to get what you got to get it's gonna take you a couple weeks more than likely um because of the cooldown you know your, your rogers got a 24-hour cooldown <clears throat> before they can start mating again. And that's the only part that sucks. But like I said, this game, you have an advantage because you don't have to worry about the female and like, oh crap, the guy's ready to go all the time. But the female, it's gonna take her some time. Man, we're gonna be sucking on this this morning mimosa. But it's all good, guys. You just gotta remain, remain um, consistent. Now we have to go ahead and do this because we gotta get our points up because we're gonna go past level 35 to 40. And what happens is I'm gonna lose, um, what am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose this right here this the tentacle of truth so i need to get the next level one go to the one that says i think it's 36 to like whatever 40 ish or whatever i gotta get that one so that's why i'm doing this right now all right so 
Oh, it's time to select another opponent. All right, so yeah, we're gonna be sucking on this one, guys. But yeah, consistency is key, guys. Find your dwellers that constantly give you the babies five star. <clears throat> and it's pretty much always gonna happen, guys. Like you get the same one or two or whatever, just make sure you make a note or you can change their name. Whatever it makes it easier for you to guys to remember who is putting out the five stars. Cause those are going to be the ones that are gonna be guaranteed every single time, guys. I, I've I played like in other games. I haven't noticed in this game yet because I only have two. Um, I got one by luck, and I can't. I, I don't even remember who it was, honestly. But you gotta make sure you guys know who is doing the, the doing the good deed for you, okay? And that's what we're gonna start doing now because we only have two five stars right now. So these guys are gonna be the ones that are for sure. Matter of fact, we got Brontus and Mona Alicia. So those are easy to remember. I didn't make those names. Those games were made for me. So yeah, those are gonna be the two guaranteed. They're gonna give me some five stars. I already know it. And like I said, you want to get the four stars as well. And I'm like I said, I'm also doing the cloning room up to the next level because so it's gonna give me ten more dweller positions. You know, because right now everything is getting hot and heavy right now, so we don't have a lot of time to play around. We need more space, or we need more dwellers because we have a lot of a lot of buildings, a lot of rooms actually, um, getting made. Right now, energy is kind of electricity is kind of a waste because we don't really need it right now, but we will need it higher levels. And I'm staying uh, Situation Room 6 for a long time, guys. And I'm recommending you guys stay, you know, whatever Situation Room you are, make sure you stay there, okay? I'm not going Situation Room 7 until all my dwellers are 7. Their training is maxed out. My rooms are maxed out. And I'm not doing any more. It's get the um, morning mimosa gets boring, okay? Basically. That's, <laughs> that's all it's going to be for, guys. I'm going to make sure that my morning mimosa is boring for me. And that's how I know that I can go Situation Room 7. Because if you guys go ahead of time, you're not getting any benefits saying, oh, guys, look at me. I'm Situation Room 9. You're not doing any justice to yourself, guys. You're only screwing the game up. I promise you, I've done it twice. Okay? And you've heard me say that in previous videos, guys. If you haven't watched those videos, check out the playlist for this game, guys. And I do mention all this stuff. It's really good to watch the playlist, guys. Not just look for the videos. Play a playlist. Because you'll see all the videos I've made for this game. It hasn't been very many of them, but I try to make them as informative as possible for you guys. I've made the mistakes in previous games, and I'm going to make sure in this game, I am not going to make those same mistakes at all. So we're probably going to have to go for this guy right here, more than likely. All right, so we're going to start losing now, guys, because this everybody in this one is hot. Oh, it's going to go for the low one. I don't care. But we don't want to go too low. You don't want to go too low. All right, there we go. Now, um, people are like, well, how's morning mimosa work? Now, if you see that the battle time was 16 seconds, tournament points scored is 28. Now, the most you can get from there, I think it's 30 or 40? 45. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I can't fight these big dogs, man. Actually, we already beat these big dogs already. So, we've already gotten the points we're going to get. These people that they show you the reward you get if you beat these people, that's what you're going to get for sure. All right, so I've already beat them already. It's about time, too. So if you want to also uh, get the most points, you have to beat your opponent faster. So you'll get more points that way. That's one way there. And then who you fight. You don't want to go too low because you're going to get less points. However, points are good, but not all points are good. You know what I mean, guys? It's like they say in dominoes. Not all money is good money. All right, so you want to make sure you got the right amount of points and stuff like that. And yeah, I do pretty well. I just gotta get my points up so I can get that next trinket or the, uh, I already showed you guys already. And that's what I'm looking at right now. I wanna get that. So who's been fighting me? Someone's been fighting me. Oh, so someone beat me there. Two people beat me. That sucks. Three people beat me. All right, so that's gonna make my game harder. So we definitely need to make sure we get leveled up. <laughs> we need more five stars so we can get more, um, more damage. And that's what you want to do too, guys. You're, if you know, if you guys do notice, you guys do do you guys do more damage. And I'm probably gonna turn one of these fighters into like an assassin. And pretty much all an assassin is, you gotta have like daggers, have a fast weapon, basically. Um, can't really use this one because it's 31. Can't use it yet, but I will be able to use it pretty soon. But I got I got this one I can use. Um, pretty much this one get a lot of crit. Now, when attacking, has 7% chance of dealing 85% damage in five seconds. When attacking has 
um, chance of increasing on crit by 15% and it lasts 15 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and get this other guy. I don't think we're gonna place. Unless we get someone higher. Let me see, I'm gonna try to get that 139 guy. Uh, let's try. I don't think we're gonna win. You just don't wanna, you don't wanna lose any battles. He's got the same thing I got, so it's not like, this is his are a little bit better. Let's see, I could have I could have possibly beat this guy. But he had those little range guys in the background. But I'm gonna switch one of my guys in the fighter position. I'm gonna go to go assassin just because. And pretty much all it is, guys, for assassin is gonna be like I said, you're gonna change there. Let me see who's got the lowest. He's 14378. And this one is this is probably the highest one right here, 14. No, okay, he's not. All right, so I'm not going to turn Mona Leash. I'm going to turn Brontus into an assassin. And basically what you do, guys, you just go for uh, sniper equipment. I'm put that one on. And you give him a dagger. Give him a good dagger. And that's pretty much it. Instant um, assassin. Now, they don't have any hip. They don't have any armor. They're going to be sucking. Um, they're going to be hitting like a bunch of... They're going to be hitting like trucks, though. Basically. Depending on who you fight. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for it. even match basically. I'm not gonna go for the real high ones. Just want to go ahead and show you guys the demonstration. Cause man, everybody's either either too high or they're too low. He's only got three people too, but we can go through. And if you notice that he's doing a lot of damage, but he's healing up himself, which is good. I don't even know what gear I put on from to heal himself, but he's doing pretty good healing. So I'm I'm very appreciative to that. <laughs> Maybe it's his armor. I didn't even look at the armor very well. Oh, it increases dodge. So, okay, when attacking has 23% chance of increasing own dodge. That's good. But let me see if I can have something better. Okay, so everything is pretty much own dodge. I don't really care about the health. I mean, you want to have as much health and dodge for these guys as possible. Health, dodge, and damage. And that's going to be good for those assassins, guys. Assassins do a lot of damage, man. But I can't, unfortunately, use it in there because my, my, my guys already picked already for the uh the match but we can still go through here on the map and kill a couple guys let's go with either assassins or i mean there's not really a, a right battle configuration guys it's what you have in your arsenal you know that's typically what you want to do when you go with, with a four-man squad you know two tanks you want to have the energy guy and you want to have the gun guy in the back or whatnot that's that's typical what you want to do or you can have two two rifles two two gun people in the back i don't remember what they're called I get mixed up between the three games. I play all three games, guys. Hustle Castle, Z Day, or Zero City, and this one. And this guy's too low. I guess he's he has his Rogers mating up or something. That's probably what's going on with this one. But you know what? A win is a win. We'll take it. Now, if you don't want to go too low, guys, you can always switch it up. I didn't get that much um, cash. <clears throat> so that's what we're going for anyway is cash. And, oh, time to select the opponents here, guys. We got another minute. Yeah, we're not going to place in this one. But usually I get, like, first or second place consistently. Just gonna go for some points now. Uh, that's all we can do is go for some points. We may have to go a little lower. It's all good though. I don't care. As long as I get some points, I'm I'm okay with that. Cause throughout the day, I might do this arena maybe more the morning mimosa, maybe four or five times a day. I don't do it that long, that much, guys. My attention my attention span is horrible in this game or in playing games. Period. On my phone. All right, so that was done. <clears throat> so we didn't get much we didn't definitely didn't place so we're pretty much where we're at we're probably gonna place number 10 but that's okay that's fine we're gonna go back on the map and kill some more fools over here but i hope this this video was informative to you guys but this is like i can't really give you another scenario that's gonna tell you how to get faster five stars um but we'll work with what you have guys if you're not getting five stars don't fret don't panic don't say oh crap my guys suck. Uh, just bat, max up what you have. You know what I mean, guys? Try to go for four stars. If you got three, stick with your three. You're not. There's nothing wrong with three stars and four stars. Nothing wrong at all. But all I'm trying to do is plan ahead for the end game. And that's all I'm trying to do is plan ahead. That's all. I'm going ahead of myself right now. And I don't have to get five stars. I'm good with my four star. All my, all my guys are four stars. I might have a couple three stars in there. And those are just the guys working, you know? I'm not really doing anything special or anything like that, spectacular. But we are on this other map here, and this map is pretty tough. And if you guys notice, I really don't use specials. 
I can use them, but I just don't. Because I want to see just how strong my guys really are. And they're not very strong at all. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. I saved myself some some uh, resources and stuff like that. I'm kind of cheap. But, I mean, I still beat it. But definitely give a good old shout-out to my good old clan, <laughs> Chef Boy RD. These guys are pretty awesome. That's the clan I'm in right now. These guys are good, man. I like these guys a lot. I, I joined them at first, and I was just like, eh... But you know what, guys? These guys are cool. If you guys can find a space, you guys can join us as well. I don't even know if there's any space right now. I don't even know. But either way, if you can find space, guys, you can join. You can play with me. We can do whatever we got to do. And that's about it. But right now, this is the clan I'm in at present time. They don't plan on leaving anytime soon because these guys are awesome. All right. Tournament missed? I missed one? What? No way, guys. I missed one? How? Damn, I missed an attack, guys. Oh, well, it's all good, I think. It says tournament missed, but I don't know how that happened. I'm sitting there playing, looking at it, you know, it's whatever. But anyway, either way, guys, hopefully, like I said, this was informative to you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the next video, guys. Peace. And I forgot to mention, guys, you can follow me on social media, guys. Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget YouTube, of course. And also Twitter. I'm pretty hot and heavy on Twitter, and I try to beef up the Facebook page as much as I can. So you go, you can follow the um, on those links down below, guys. Take you right to them. Follow me there. We could chop it up. We could do whatever we have to do. And if you guys are looking for some friends, just message me on Facebook as well, and I'll add you as a friend as well. So either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for checking out today's video, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you have not. And also make sure those notification bells are turned on. And please don't forget to check out our Facebook and Twitter. The link will be in the description down below.